Hello there everyone, welcome back to another Gate Ruler video. As you can see, I still don't have my set 3 product, which means it's another tier list. I really apologise for the just absolute shitting out of these, but look man, uh, the algo needs to be fed, I have opinions, and I just want my goddamn product. So the moment it comes, I will fucking do some unboxings. Oh, I just demonetized myself. Oh well, I'll do some unboxings and I'll do some deck profiles and hopefully we'll do some matches but until then I can't do that because no one wants to watch me like open up a gateruler.eu like <laughs> deck builder thing and just talk that oh, come on you want to see the physical cards I know so we'll do that anyway well, I'm talking about the legends today thank you Sundial my simian other supporter I'm talking about the legends let's talk about the legends oh that was the wrong thing uh here we go so as you can see uh, I have imported all of the currently available legends into this lovely little tier list here. Uh, and I'm basically going to be going through and I'm going to be evaluating them. Uh, and I think this uh, should be a pretty balanced tier list, I think. Um, so this is, uh, I will say, this is being recorded on the 3rd of November. So that is the current sort of standard I have, my knowledge of the format. I've been following what's happening in Japan as close as I can. Uh, and, you know, whatever playtesting I've seen and done myself. Um, but generally, this is going to be my evaluations on where I see the meta going and all this sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the easy D tier uh, choices. Uh, we're going to be putting uh, these guys. All right, so they're going immediately in D tier. Let's talk about that. Uh, right, well, this is an easy one. Okay, win-win. Um, why would I use my legend slot when the invisible hand is a card that exists. Okay, so basically in set three, they printed a card that literally is win-win, minus the legend, minus the draw one, minus the opponent untapping. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if it untaps two or three as well, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, Win-win is dead as a card. There is no reason to play this card anymore, uh, especially with hand rulers becoming more prevalent. And the fact that two resources is exactly what it costs to Lucifer, I don't really want to give my opponent that. So yeah, instant D tier. Hydra is in D tier because it just it does not function in any decks. It's not it's not that bad, but like it's and it, it has zero synergies with anything. No deck really wants to be slamming down level three and then level three being Hydra, like no protection, no synergy. Yeah, okay, I can't like use stuff when you attack, but like that does not matter. <laughs> that aggressively does not matter because I can do stuff before. Um, and also it only stops events, it doesn't stop Guardian summoning or anything. So yeah, it's just a bad card in the current format. Uh, let's move on to, let's do the secret rare legendaries actually, let's do this first. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is getting a promo reprint, um, which would matter if it didn't suck. Uh, that is another strong D tier, uh, a level three, uh, event legend is not even particularly good. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, this, I think this, okay, I'm going to put this in C because I think it has a little bit more future potential, but that potential is like reliant on the the rulers in the future being very different, right? Like, and, you know, giving all zones and stuff. Uh, yeah, this is level three and it's a counter. It's just very, very difficult to justify playing it. And basically, and, and you're in Volnar, by the way. If you're playing this, you're in Volnar, which has arguably the best legends in the game. Uh, so like, at, in terms of quantity of good legends, Volnar has the most. So, yeah, it's going to be really difficult to justify playing this. Uh, the other secret legend we have is going to be this. And I am going to put this in B. I think the biggest... The, the, the biggest difficulty... B... I'm going to... I'm going to put it in A. I'm going to put it in a hot take. Hot take from Ibo. Um, I think this is pretty good. I think this legend is really, really solid. Uh, you know, it says drive one, uh, but it does it on play. And, you know, that's a very, very powerful effect. We've seen how powerful that is, thanks to Darum again. Now, it is taking up your legend slot. Uh, however, is that really a big deal? In the decks that you want to play this in, not overly. Um, maybe A is a little bit too good. I'm going to put it in B, 
just because I know how many things I want to be putting in A, and I don't think it's fair to put it in A, but top of B. Like, it's really not bad. I think, like, uh, you know, I mean, it's a hell of a lot better than this, that's for sure, um, and more accessible, though, you know, it's one per two cases, right? It's a 50% chance to get it. Uh, I hope that it, well, well, we know it's getting reprinted in the future as well. We know this is going to reprint, this is probably going to get a promo reprint as well, so... It's fine, it's just time-gated by money for a bit, but it's not super strong. Uh, it's good, though. And I say I would want to play it in Supernatural decks. Like, actively, I want to play this in Supernatural. So, you know, take that for what it is. Uh, next, let's do the X-Fader Legend. Um, I would say this is a strong A-tip. Uh, I almost want to put it in S-tier, but I I'll tell you my sort of logic here. Um, S-tier is something that's just sort of universally broken like you'll just literally put it in basically everything and it's going to be insane a tier is just extremely strong generally or broken in its own deck uh and this is that for sure um yeah super super strong legend uh, of course the biggest downside of this legend is the fact that you have to play excavator to get access to it so you know it is what it is um but yeah this is really really solid Next, uh, Calavera, solid B tier, uh, totally fine legend, not super good, not super bad, um, I think it is fine. Uh, another D tier, <laughs> fucking, I don't even remember what this card's name is, but it's not good. Uh, next, let's uh, put these two lads, who are basically the same card, the Galactic Samurai and Captain OMG. So as a Captain OMG, I'm gonna put it in B because of the current format we're in. Essentially, there are two things that are a problem with this card, uh, or three things really that are a problem with this card. One, it's a level three, uh, and level limit is really tight at the moment because of superior res. Two, it ha it's overdrive only, which means hand rulers can't use it, so it's automatically being really restricted, and drive rulers are not super hot this format. And three, it's a counter, and uh, we want to play all our counters on very, very good cards. And this is a very, very good card, but I would rather this didn't have counter, uh, and I could play 16 counters than sort of, you know, having 15 effectively of my consistency counters, if that makes sense. Um, rather, like, a sort of powerhouse counter. Um, so it's, it's certainly not a bad card uh, by any means, but I just think it's fallen off a little bit. Uh, the Galactic Samurai goes straight into A tier, though. Uh, kind of strictly better. Um, yeah, just very, very, very good. Dragonic Calm again, uh, again, B tier. It's, uh, it's gotten a little better, I would say, uh, thanks to Trickster existing um, and level 2 uh, with counter is automatically going to be, uh, you know, it buffed by the existence of Trickster. Uh, it's I interesting. I, I don't know how good this really is. I just do think that, you know, you're competing for space in Volnar, and Volnar has three really really good legends and two pretty decent ones uh, this is one of those pretty decent ones so you know it is competing for a lot of space because you know you're not like you're only competing within the one faction either uh but yeah you know as a form of destruction it's good the fact that it can potentially nuke two things is really really nice i think this does have potential to rise if dragons become sort of more generic uh, and less their own deck though i don't think they will i think this will just remain like a very solid pick in their niche deck though again one that's basically pushed out by the existence of the other legends um, speaking of those other legends, I'm just going to go ahead and chuck those in now. These are very, very similar legends. Um, and uh, I, I should say, I mean, this isn't really ordered. Uh, but yeah, so uh, these are really similar in the sense they're both double attacking big dragons. Um, where where this guy gets uh, its soul, its charges from the field. This guy gets it from uh, playing with TD, but it takes two summon caps. Um, you know, this is much better as a Genesis Summon target. This is much better as just a general play. Very, very similar cards. Um, very equally strong. You know, a seven attack, double attacker is really, really good. Um, I will say though, this has two strike. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage it can put out. So it's, you know, it's very much worth that uh, double summon cap, especially if you can just special summon or something to fill up the board. So yeah, I think a really, really, really good cards here. Very, very nice additions to the game. Uh, next... I am going to put Captain Liberty up at the top of A tier. This card remains incredibly strong. Uh, it's only gotten better um, as it's gotten easier to heal, essentially. Though, I will say there are a lot more reviving cards now. So, it is starting to lose a little bit of its luster. You know, we have Captain Zombie. We have Shiden. Uh, 
you know, it's still really good. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like, it's still, you know, a defender, 5 or 2 It's very solid. Uh, and you can enhance it with, uh, in the A7 deck. Um, it's still a, just a very, very good card. Um, but, you know, it's definitely no longer the S tier it once was. Speaking of something that's also no longer the S tier it once was, Scoob. I'm, I'm putting Scoob... Uh, I'm going to put it mid eight here. Uh, that's just by nature of how absolutely insane the set destruction is in this format. It's really hard to get a scoop off. Uh, there are counters to you actually be able to play it from putting it in damage, um, which is, you know, sick. It, the card is still incredible because it is a 17th counter or a 21st counter if you're playing it in uh, the singleton decks. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very, very good card. Um, absolutely. But... It has fallen off a bit, and it is still very difficult to play in a lot of decks. You know, it costs three. Knight's going to really struggle to take advantage of this. Uh, Trickster cannot take advantage of this uh, in terms of actually playing it. However, they can revive it um, as a supernatural, so there's a specific Trickster deck that can take advantage of this, but almost all other Trickster decks cannot. Knight decks are going to really struggle to take care of this, take advantage of this. Overlord decks can, um, you know, but again, that's three level limits. Do you want to spend them on this? Probably, but yeah. Uh, it's a much more fair card in the context of set three. Um, we've, as you can see, you know, a lot of these recently released legends are up here in the A tier. Uh, let's go ahead and fill out the B tier a little bit more. Kami's Judgment, uh, you know, same sort of deal. Uh, not super, super good. Uh, Trickster's made it better. Uh, it's competing for space against other really, really good legends, but it's not bad by any means. It's just fine. Uh, again, it has suffered a bit, though, um, by the existence of all the set destruction. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next... Lord Annexator, I think, is another solid B tier. It's not bad, it's not bad. Um, stealing something is really, really good, but uh, do you really want to be using your Legend slot on this? I would say no. There are two really, really strong Wonderverse Legends here already. You probably don't want to be losing a counter spot to this as well, because remember, neither of these take up a counter, and Scroob actively gives you an extra counter. So, you know, it's a bit difficult to justify um, having to play that. Uh, Blazing Vortex, or whatever it's not. Is that a yu gi -Oh, sir? Uh, whatever it's called, Blaster Vortex, whatever it's called. Uh, I think this is sort of here. It's good, you know, Mirror Force is a good card. Um, you know, cards, cards are kind of good. Uh, you know, that level of destruction, and I think it really does only have upward potential uh, as set destruction starts getting played a bit less. This card will get better, uh, and board wiping is really, really, really nice. Um, but, you know, it, you have to play it, it costs two. Better in, you know, decks like Overlord and stuff. Oh, sorry, o Overlord can't play this, sorry. Um, so it is going to be better in those, like, decks that don't play costs. It's going to be, you know, it's playable in Trickster. You know, it's playable in Wizard. Wizard is actually quite nice. Uh, you're always going to have the two energy for it. Um, but yeah, like, it's it's totally fine. It's a perfectly serviceable legend. Next, we got Magvarius. And I'm going to put Mag at the bottom of A tier. It's not bad. I don't think any... I don't know what kind of drugs you have to be on to call Magvarius bad, to be honest. But... Uh, losing a counter slot really, really sucks. Uh, and it is sort of hard to fit Mag in to a deck. Um, you know, like, the card is so good, but it is very hard to fit it in, because uh, oftentimes you really want to be doing everything you can to focus towards your specific strategy and only really putting in cards that further that goal. Uh, and losing a level 3, a counter spot, uh, to this can really suck for some decks. I mean, the card is a powerhouse, don't get me wrong. Uh, and it absolutely deserves to be an A tier, but... I'm going to put it sort of here with the other dragons, right? Like, these big boys, they're all super, super good. Uh, Kimmy Okorga. <sighs> I'm feeling really conflicted because the problem with this card is it doesn't have a home right now. So putting it in A tier isn't really fair. But it's so good. <sighs> I'm going to put it in B. And I feel really bad doing that, but I have to because it is really good, but like it doesn't have a home right now. I can't justify it. I, I honestly, I've got to move Captain Liberty down a bit. Like, I, you know, it is, you know, it, this isn't ordered, but I do have to, like, Captain Liberty is a bit more like mid ish. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's not really fair for this to in, uh, enjoy its super high to save, so it's just not really seeing the play uh, for, you know, the, you know, taking up accounts about level three. I'm sure Koga will come back in, and, you know, it is an absolute staple in uh, those singleton decks, but, yeah. Finally, on this tier list, we've got Tatari of the Oni, and that is another A-tier card. Very, very solid. Big risk, big reward. 
if you, as long as you don't counter check it, you are absolutely vibing on this card. Um, it's a great card if you don't counter check it. If you counter check it, it is a really, really bad card because uh, your opponent is just going to use it to bash your face in and probably win the game. So, yeah, you know, risk reward, but I do think the card is super good. So, as you can see here, my general opinion is that the legends are actually very balanced. Um, it seems like they are all sort of together fairly, you know, there's a, a good selection of A tiers, a good selection of B tiers. Most are pretty good. You wouldn't really, you know, I think you wouldn't really be annoyed if you played any of these. Like, you'd be happy to see any of these legends, uh, with the exception of the D tier. I think C tier even is fine. <laughs> it's just D tier that's just bad, actively like a waste of a card in your deck. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my legend tier list in the comments section down below. Uh, join my Discord server, to talk about all things Game Ruler, subscribe to the channel, like, vid like, video, like the video, notification bell, all that sort of shit, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.